Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure folder redirection policy in Windows Server 2022 for Active Directory users. Using the folder redirection policy, we can redirect the locations of various folders like desktop, documents, downloads, pictures and app data to be stored on our file server. Our users won't even realize that their data is being directly saved on the shared folder created on file server. The biggest advantage of folder redirection policy is that any user can log into any computer within our domain environment and they will have their data available on that computer. Users will think that their data is being stored on their computer. But in reality, it will be directly saved to the server location where you have redirected their folders. This helps centralize data management, improves data security and simplifies the backups. Offline file storage works with folder redirection to provide local file caching. This enables users to access their files even when the network is inaccessible. Before we can redirect folders, we must create the underlying shared folder structure. It is usual to redirect user's folder to a common shared folder. This folder is referred to as the root folder. Generally, we assign permissions to security groups that contain the relevant users on the required folders. For example, if you redirect folders by department, you might assign the cells global security group the required permissions on the root folder for cells users. Likewise, the marketing security group for users in that department and so on. Because our users will access the root folder and its subfolders through a Windows Server shared folder, we must assign shared folder permissions. Thereafter, each user requires their own subfolder beneath the root folder. If we create the root folder with the correct permissions, Windows Server creates the user folders automatically during configuration of folder redirection and applies the correct permissions. For this demo, we have two VMs. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller. We have another domain join a Windows 10 VM. First, create a security group for folder redirection policy. We will use this group to assign permission on shared folder which you want to use as a root folder. Log on to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. From the server manager's tool menu, select Active Directory users and computers. Right click the domain, new and select OU. Enter the name of the OU, for example, design. Click OK. Right click the design OU, select new and click on user. Enter first name, last name and logon name for this user account. Click next to continue. Enter password twice. Since this is a test user account, I am clearing user must change password at next logon option. Click Next and click on Finish. Again right click the Design OU, select New and click on Group. Enter the name for the security group, for example, Folder Redirection Users. Make sure Group Scope is Global and Group Type is Security. Click OK. Right click the Group and select Properties. Go to the Members tab, click on Add. Enter the names of users or groups to which you want to deploy folder redirection. We will add Deepak Patel. Click on check names. Click OK. And click on apply and OK. So we have created one user account and security group. We have added that user account as a member of that security group. Next, create a file share for redirected folders. If you don't already have a file share for redirected folders, create a file share on a server. Since 
This is a test environment I am creating file share on our domain controller. If you have dedicated file server, create file share on your file server. On server manager, click on file and storage services. Click on shares to display the shares page. Select task and choose new share option. Select SMB share quick file share profile. Click next. Choose type a custom path option and click on browse to select the folder. Select the C drive and click on new folder. Let's give name design data. Select the folder and click on select folder. Click next. Enter a name for the shared folder in the share name box. When you create the share for folder redirection, hide the share by putting a dollar sign after the share name. This change hides the shared folder from casual browsers. Click next. Click next again. We need to configure correct NTFS permissions on the folder so that each user can access only their own files. Click on Customize Permissions. Click on Disable Inheritance. When a warning appears, select Convert Inherited Permissions into Explicit Permissions on this object. Remove both users' entry. Click on Apply. Click on Add. Click on Select a Principal Link. Type Group Name and click on Check Names. Make sure you have selected the correct group. Now click on OK. Change the permission applies to this folder only. Now click on Show Advanced Permissions. Leave the selected permission as it is and grant Create Folders and Append Data permission. Click OK. Now click on Apply and OK to save the changes. We have configured required NTFS permission on that shared folder. Now click on Next to continue. On the confirmation page, select Create. Shared folder created successfully. Now click on Close. Next, create a GPO and configure the group policy settings for folder redirection. From the Server Manager's tool menu, select Group Policy Management. Right click the Group Policy Objects node and select New. You will be prompted for a name and whether or not you want to use an existing starter GPO for your new group policy object. I have entered name folder redirection GPO. Click OK. Select the newly created folder redirection GPO. Make sure you are on scope tab. Under security filtering, remove authenticated users to prevent the GPO from being applied to everyone. Click OK. On warning page, again click on OK. Now click on Add. Enter the name of the security group that you have created earlier. For example, folder redirection users. This is the same group which we have used to configure NTFS permission on this shared folder. Click OK. Go to Delegation tab. Click on Add and then enter Authenticated Users. Select Authenticated Users. Click OK. Click OK. Select OK again to accept the default read permission. This step is necessary because of security changes made in group policy. You must give the authenticated users group delegated read permissions to the folder redirection GPO. If you don't, the GPO isn't applied to users or if it is already applied, the GPO is removed redirecting folders back to the local PC. Now, let's add the group policy settings that enable and configure folder redirection. Right-click the GPO and select Edit. This will open Group Policy Management Editor. In the Group Policy Management Editor window, navigate to User Configuration, Policies, Window Settings and Folder Redirection. Right-click a folder that you want to redirect. In this example, we will configure folder redirection for Documents folder. So right-click on Documents folder and then select Properties. When you select default value, 
folder redirection is disabled when you select basic it redirect users folders to a common shared folder we use basic when you do not want to redirect users folders to a different folder based on the departmental membership in this instance all users folders are redirected to a single folder root each user has a unique folder beneath the root folder it ensure privacy of user data because each user has their own folder and because we have assigned the appropriate permissions each user can access only their own folder content use advanced option when you want to redirect groups of users to a common shared folder in this example we are doing a basic folder redirection which will redirect all user documents folders to the same location make sure you have selected create a folder for each user under the root paths option the folder we are sending it to is the design data folder on the domain controller a file path is going to be ws2022 haven dc01.msftwebcast.com/designdata-shared folder let's press enter key i'm accessing this shared folder to copy the correct shared folder path let's right click here and select copy the path currently this folder is empty let's close this and let's paste the copied shared folder path before we click on apply and okay i'm going to click on settings tab in the policy removal section select redirect the folder back to the local user profile location when policy is removed this setting is used to specify that what to do with the redirected folder when we disable folder redirection click on apply and then select yes in the warning dialog box click okay to close the window now close the group policy editor console after we finish configuring the folder redirection policy settings the next step is to link the gpu to targeted ou this change allows the gpu to be applied only to affected users right click the design ou and select link an existing gpu select folder redirection gpu from the list and click on okay confirm that folder redirection gpu is successfully linked to design ou to test folder redirection sign in to a domain joined computer by using a user account that is configured to use redirected folders then confirm that the folders are redirected or not let's go to our windows 10 vm let's unlock the vm click on the user let's sign in with the deepak patel's user credentials tap username deepak.p and the user's password and hit enter key to sign in this user has never logged into this windows 10 computer before so the system will create a user profile this will take a few seconds okay we are now in windows 10 computer open command prompt and then enter command gp update slash force and press enter key to ensure that the latest group policy settings are applied to the client computer in order to apply the group policy correctly we have to log off from this windows 10 computer type y and press enter key to log off from this windows 10 computer Let's again sign in to this Windows 10 computer using the account of Deepak Patel. Open File Explorer. Click on Documents folder in the Documents library. Right click in the empty area and select Properties. On General tab, see the location. Confirm that the path displays the file share we specified instead of a local path. Click on Offline Files tab. Make sure that always available offline checkbox is selected and gray out. We can click on sync now to manually sync the connection. Click okay. Under state we can see online and here we can see the last sync timestamp. We can create files and folders in the documents folder and they will be available for a user 
on any computer in our domain. Let's double click on the taste folder. Let's click here and we can see the path of that shared folder. So this is the location where user is currently storing his folders. So after seeing the location, we can confirm that we have successfully configured folder redirection policy for documents folder. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.